So the next stop along the journey is called Don Hoy Lot. Take some video, I'll take some pictures of it, that sort of thing. But I'm gonna turn this around so you don't look at me. It's very mask friendly around here. So I wanna be obviously conscious of that. Um, so Gracie and I, as we were coming down, she took us some footage of the, uh, of the sky. We went through some really intense rain. It was very cool. Uh, coming down this road over here, there is one seafood restaurant after another. And to the point where there are guys just like standing outside, just like waving you into their parking lot. So, but anyway, so this was just another one of these places that I kept sort of dragging Google Maps on and going down and down and down till I got to, uh, till I got here to this little parking lot. And uh, there were some neat photos of it. So I thought, hey, let's go here next. After this, we'll actually end up at our hotel. I bet it's back there in the green. And, uh, and again, as you can see, all these seafood restaurants like right on the water some are closed some are open um now what was funny as i was saying to gracie as we were driving down here i mean so there's like a coffee shop and it like it serves like you know expensive coffee from a thai perspective and pizza not exactly the two most you know favorable delicacies for the average thai person and i'm like but we are somewhere where for the most part no foreign tourist sorry few foreign tourists will come and um and so again it's not like they're like oh my god there's covid and because there's no foreign tourists and you know our business is going to go bankrupt and that is just simply you know i'm thinking hey these places don't really rely on foreign tourists yet many of them are closing so i have a feeling that covid is not just uh the lack of foreign tourists is not the only thing that's really hurting Thailand. It's the local tourism as well, which is uh, which is sad. I don't know what that sign says, but it's been at several places. Gracie's over here. So this is Don Hoi Lot. I don't know what you call those, but those are like very common, right? You'll come to a, you'll come to a uh, place on the water and those will be either there, like right on the beach kind of thing, or it'll be near the, uh, uh, on the lake, like that coffee shop we went to. They had those, a ton of those actually, uh, in the little lake leading up to where we were. So, now again, we still have not reached what I believe to be accurately labeled as sort of the first sand south of Bangkok. Um, there's definitely, you know, ocean that you can get next to, which I will tell you, the temperature delta is definitely noticeable. Now again, it also just rained. However, um, you know, if you're in Bangkok and you need to get your ambient air temperature down by 10 to 15 degrees. Mm, maybe not 15, but 10. It's a pretty good place to do it. And it's kind of neat. I mean, there's no sand, but. I'm also anticipating that our sunset this evening will be a little bit squelched in level of spectacular, but that's okay. We are, in fact, right on the beach uh, with our with our next hotel. I'm trying to, I can't remember the name of it, but obviously it'll show up in this video at some point. Likely after we've departed. I refer to this sort of deal as mangroves. Whenever there's like sort of water that has taken the place of the base soil for trees, I refer to those as man mangroves, and I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but obviously very far in the distance and on a GoPro you can't see out there, but um, this is just sort of neat. It's a neat way to, uh, I guess I could check on my phone, but I don't know if there's free Wi-Fi here or not. But the good news is, is that they have cameras. Of course, I'm rarely concerned about my safety. <laughs> in Thailand, anywhere, really. 
The only reason I got theft coverage on the rental car is simply is it, it comes with a package. And, uh, how you doing? Should be do be do. So yeah, so this is Don Hoy Lot and we just kind of stopped to uh, kind of hang out. This is my lady in red. What's interesting, is this the dress that yeah. you wore? Yeah. Really? So here's what's interesting about this dress is that her handle, her profile pic, her, her profile on Badu, how we met, was lady in red. And uh, yeah, this is the dress I was wearing. that's the dress, pretty awesome. So here I am, look at me. I'm dating the lady in red. <laughs> and she's going to be my wife. Go figure. So yeah, so this is like, you know, ugly, right? I mean, it's mechanical and... Um, and... Uh, and it's actually kind of a lot like Bang Sien when we were there. That's kind of like... On, that's basically on way on the other side. So like north of Pattaya, but uh, south of... South of Bangkok for sure. It's pretty much in the middle of where you would catch the ferry to go to Koh Si Chang, which is frequently labeled as the closest island to Bangkok. So, where are we going? I'm just trying to do what you do. Yeah, 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 totally. You just wrap it around. Here, hold on. 